She is a media trailblazer, a cultural influencer, and she is changing the game across all platforms. I'm talking about the Mona Scott Young. And before we start talking to her, can I just run down the list for you? Okay, so you probably know her, of course, from the creator, the executive producer of Love & Hip Hop. But that's not all. We are talking clothing collections. We are talking Moscato mixes with Nicki Minaj, even the manager of some of your favorite faves. And of course, you're coming here today because uh, you got a new book. It's I, like, when does she sleep? Uh, not very often. At all. At all. Wake up time, four o'clock? <laughs> yes, exactly. But nothing compared to your 1 a.m. Stop it. You know, <laughs> get a little shady there. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So obviously you're behind the scenes, but no, you're not. Not at all. How did you get to this point? Did you ever see yourself becoming this? And, well, I always knew that there was more that I wanted to do, but the funny part about getting in front of the camera mm -hmm. is that was Missy Elliott's fault. Um, <laughs> I remember when I had my daughter, she was getting her BET award, yeah. and she insisted that I stepped out on stage with her, and I had the baby in a little Gucci holder. <laughs> so that was my first experience in front of the camera. But then, I'm sorry, but then she did uh, The Road to Stardom uh -huh. with Missy Elliott. I don't know if you remember that show. It was on UPN. Yes. And decided she didn't want to eliminate people anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there I was once again in front of the camera doing the eliminations for her. I, so, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! And you're also the co-founder of Violator. 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 Yes, that was a company that I formed with my late partner Chris Lighty, and we had that company for many, many years. Mm -hmm. and we managed some of the best in hip hop and urban music. You better over the name them. Of the years. You better oh, it name was them. everybody. You know, Tribe Called Quest, Busta Rhymes, um, Missy Elliott, who Mariah I still manage to this day, Mariah Carey, Fantasia, Mob Deep, Fitty. Oh, geez, it, it, the list went on and on, and it was an amazing time in music. So for me, it was an incredible honor to have been a part of their lives. You know, Mona, I think you have a gift. Well, obviously you know this, but you have a gift of being able to identify a brand, being able to identify strong talent. If I could ask you the top three things that it takes to be a successful brand, mm -hmm. what do you look for in a star that just has that? Um, I think one of the first things I look for is a willingness to to work mm -hmm. harder for themselves than they expect me to work, right? Because a lot of times, and, and that was part of, for me, the transition out of management. Mm -hmm. You spend so many years and so much time and effort putting into everyone else and putting into their careers and wanting to make sure that they want it as badly for themselves as you want it yeah. for them, right? To understanding what their gifts are and really owning those gifts and living up to the full potential of those gifts. Because I always say, all the talent in the world, yeah. if never realized, may as well not even exist. Mm -hmm. So there are tons of talented people out there. But whether they're not focused or they're not working hard enough, they don't believe in themselves enough, and they're not willing to put in the time and effort, it's never going to happen for them. You know, when I guess the other thing is, there's that, that je ne sais quoi, the goosebumps that you get. That you shimmy. can't, if you knew what it was, I would bottle it. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's, there's that feeling you get mm -hmm. when you're around real talent. So it's just inspiring that feeling in others. One of the biggest things, well, before we continue, I just want our AC and insiders who are just now joining us, you know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the Mona Scott Young. She is the creator, the, the I mean, the brainchild of hers is Love and Hip Hop, <laughs> the, the historic franchise, if you're just jumping in. So, of course, we want you to ask your questions. But we will continue, Mona. So one of the most successful, Love and Hip Hop, uh, and maybe I'm biased, but whatever. Okay, of course. Whatever. Let me guess what you're going to say. What well, no, I'm just going to say? One of the most oh, Hollywood, is that what? Oh, I wasn't going to say that. Oh, I didn't think so. Um, one of the most <laughs> successful love and hip-hop franchises is none other than oh, Atlanta. ATL. Atlanta. <laughs> what was the secret sauce in that one? You know, there was something about the city of Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. When we were casting for a different city, we went to several cities, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. And when we got to Atlanta and we started meeting the folks that were here, and of course you guys know, you guys are a mecca for talent. People come from far and wide. But this was kind of that stop. If you make it here, you know, if you can't make it anywhere else, yeah. this is where you come. And there was this sense of, of stakes and of urgency. And there was this frenetic and kinetic energy yeah. to the city that we were excited about being able to capture that and giving that opportunity to the talent here. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it showed people connected with it and it's been a success story ever since. You are a success story, so much so that now you've taken love and hip hop and it seems like you've now turned it into another passion of yours. Blurred Lines, <laughs> your first book. Let me go ahead and see that yes. book. Okay, so you guys don't see the behind the scenes, but let me just tell you that Mona is here with a complete entourage. <laughs> it is fantastic. This is the team. Oh, okay. The this, team. This is her team. I mean, I yes. just love Holly. Holly. 
Hollywood so much, right? So this is our team, but talk to us about Blurred Lines. This is a non-tell-all book, because I know a lot of you are asking. It's exactly. not a tell-all. Exactly. No, and for the cast members that are wondering, no, this is not about you. But um, no, you know, people are constantly saying that the stories on Love and Hip Hop are made up, yeah. which they're not. But this was an opportunity. Courtney Parker, who is a prolific writer, she's a television writer, a novelist. She worked on our first season of Hollywood. And uh, she just said to me, we should come up with a story. Just let the imagination soar, go, you know, wild with it. So it's a story about, you know, strong women. So that's where the similarities are. Uh, and it's generations of women. So you get kind of three contained stories in one. Mm. But these women come together uh, around this young couple who are getting ready to consummate their oh. celibate relationship. I won't give away too much. Oh. And uh, the women start to tell them stories about their lives. So they go back in time and you get kind of these periods Ooh. in hip hop and entertainment, their pop culture references. Mm -hmm. And it does connect the dots. I mean, one of the characters, she's the product of a uh, hip hop royalty couple mm. who were in a very popular reality show. Oh, okay. exactly. But it's 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 not based on anyone in particular. But you you get the sense that it's set in the world. Uh, yeah, Mona, yes. I'm getting a little okay. I'm, I'm like, are you sure this isn't a tell all? Some of these not people. Not at all. Not at all. Some of these stories sound a little familiar. It's, it's a tell nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a make it all up. Okay, so obviously we, we I have to ask for my ladies out there because you know my I, Atlanta is a a melting pot when it comes to successful women, um, mm -hmm. of course men as well, but we are just business women here. So I, I have to ask you, what are your tips, if you will, for someone who wants to be her own girl boss mm -hmm. or, you know, female boss, if you will? Uh, what are some of your tips? Like, how, how do you create or how do you have a Moscato line? A book line, or your first book, rather. Yeah, the uh, first book. How and, do you and have all this? I mean, for me, it's really about testing the limits of what I'm made yeah. of every day. Just kind of figuring out what other area, something new that I can not only educate myself in. When I launched Mix, I had never done a product line before. And here I, you know, learned from the bottom up. I was out at 6 a.m. pitching to sales teams. And uh, Nicki Minaj and I partnered in that. Mm. And we released the mix Moscato first, and then we moved on to Sangria, and we did uh, three flavors of that. We have a full bottle mm. red blend called Sinner. Yeah. And now this is a grape Concord. And, or a Concord grape, I'm sorry. Is this and a new we've flavor? Gone up. Yeah, it's the new flavor. Atlanta has always been our strongest market. And so we're launching Mix X which is a little bit extra because it's uh, gone up a little bit on the alcohol content. I see 13%, Mona. 13%, we went from 5 to 13. But, you know, what I say to these women, and Atlanta has such a great, like you said, group of entrepreneurial yes. women. When I look at even the cast members on the show, shout out to, like, Rashida and all the other women who have done great things with the opportunity that they had. What I say to them is, don't allow yourselves to be limited by what you are told, by what the, you know, seemingly prohibitive barriers might be, by what those parameters are. Really push yourself. Push yourself past that and test yourself every single day to go one step further than you did the yes. last day. I can just imagine we how. We are limitless. Yes. Yes. Think about what we have been able to accomplish, right? Just in terms of having children, running households, running businesses. Our power is limitless, and we really have to push ourselves past what we've been told, what we've been conditioned to believe about ourselves, and just kind of break through. Oh, so what is your next motivational book coming out? Because, I mean, I can just transcribe everything you just said, and you, I can make a ton it with this interview. It is all about being empowered and empowered. That's my whole thing, the letter M-powered. M-powered. M Powered. Okay, so I want to do kind of a speed round, if you will. So what are the... Here, let me hold one. Uh, yes. You want me to? I'm, 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 I was going to secretly put them in my, but in my uh, purse and go ahead and drink. Yeah, we're going to have you chill, these chills for you. Yes. Yeah, this is the end of my day, technically, Mona. So <laughs> a girl can sip. All right. Let me stop before my boss okay. sees this Facebook Live. All right. So um, what, what are the... <laughs> my producer laughing at me. So what are the top three traits of... Uh, nope, I already did that one. So finish this line. In my best self, I'm my best self when. So you are your best self when. I am my best self when I am taking care of myself and when I am fully realizing my potential. I have had moments in my life yeah. where I've known that I'm not even tapping or scratching the surface and I've been miserable. So, you know, really when I'm out there moving and shaking, taking over the world, that's when I know that I'm at my best. Your favorite Missy Elliott video. Oh man, I was there for all of them. 
Thank you. You know, I love them all. That's the thing. And shout out to Missy. <laughs> I want to start a campaign for her for that Video Vanguard Award. <gasps> you know, it's it's just, it's, I don't even want to say. I mean, it, because Missy has been at the forefront of pushing boundaries of visual artistry. Think about what she did to, you know, in terms of the look and the texture and the visuals yeah. that she was able to imagine. She took us to places we didn't even know we could go or that even yes. existed. So I, I can't pick a Missy video. They're all phenomenal. She literally yeah. looked like she was on other planets while she filmed. I, no, literally she was on other planets. It was, it was always like, what if we, and we're like, Missy, <laughs> not only are we going to execute that, how much is that going to cost? You know, like, <laughs> Okay, so what is your favorite thing about, or what's the best thing about Love & Hip Hop, would you say? What's the best thing? I mean, for me, for both me and I hope for the cast, the best thing about it is the opportunity that it provides. You know, think about the platform and what they're able to go off and do. Again, I look at, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit that exists, but the fact that this platform allows them to take advantage of that, to springboard and to really build on that. That, to me, is the most amazing fact. I like how you're hitting on that because you gotta, you gotta be honest with you. You know, of course, we have, you have your your people who really support you and you have people who support you but also say hey shows like this right. are, 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 are is what's wrong with uh, say the black community if you will but the, when you flip that people who are put in these positions need to use this as a platform you have absolutely. millions of people watching and no one's telling you what to do absolutely and again you know I've said this so many times if I had a dollar for every single time it's like this is not a complete representation yes. right and how do we blame a form of entertainment for what we're through. There's so much going on in the country right now. I mean, we won't even get into that. But I would say the ability to provide this platform that allows for, you know, financial empowerment and whatever else they want to use it to springboard to, mm -hmm. to me is a gift. To me is, you know, a blessing. Yeah. So, you know, there are criticisms. There are people who have of their... Course their opinions and I respect those opinions yeah. but I also think that you know we've got to open up our minds because we're full spectrum of people as a community we come in all shapes experiences you know, the, all the things that make us who we are mm -hmm. right we are not monolithic no. at all by any means or Mona Lithic. Mona Lithic. There you that? go. See I, I see that. how you did that. Okay. Yeah. My last question for you, and of course I have to ask it because this is Atlanta, my hometown. Yes. So what's the next show that you're going to be bringing to Atlanta? We know you've already done Love and Hip Hop, but we want to see more from you. Well, what's you next? know, we have some other things happening in the scripted space. I did that great show with Escape on Bravo. Yes, yes. There might be another form of a an Escape project that's, uh, you know, coming to your screens. Sometime soon. The gag is you're gonna tell us right now. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, no. I think it's I don't know that it's a secret, but you know, we're doing a, a biopic. Ooh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling the full story of the escape, you know, the ladies of escape and Love their it. history and where they are today. So yeah, there's an escape movie. Oh coming my soon. goodness. Mona, yeah. I can I can just ask you and pick your brain for hours, but she's a busy woman. She has places to be. In fact, she's heading to a rolling out photo shoot right after this. So we're so thankful that you came by. No, you, thank you, you for having me. into the A scene. Thank you so much, Mona. And um, if you guys have questions for Mona, her Instagram, how can Mona they contact Scott you? Mona Scott Young on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Send the questions over. I love hearing from fans. And please pick up a copy of Blurred Lines at MonaMeDirect.com. MonaMeDirect.com. And of course, it goes well with your <laughs> mix. Concord. Are just, what's, the ne what's the next endeavor before I let you go? Because we have my drink to sip on while I'm reading my book. Yes. Are, are, am I going to put my, uh, my put my feet inside some slippers next to them? Let's awesome. see. You might have to wear your empower ring. This, yes, we're going to do a little collection of rings called Empower Rings. Mona. We've got a small clothing collection called Moxie Mona. Bella. No. So we have a few things that are coming down the pipe. I'm proud of you. Thank you I'm proud so of you. This is, a, this is amazing. As, uh, I'm a black woman, obviously, talking to a black woman. It's not, I'm not just interviewing you. I feel like I'm, I'm gaining knowledge at the same time, so thank oh, you. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys got knowledge from our interview as well. Mona Scott Young, she just created this book or wrote this book, Blurred Lines. It is out right now. You just heard where you can get it from. Mona Me. Direct. Direct.com. Direct.com. All right, you just rock with the AC.